Hello, Veteran0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Final Fantasy IX. Uh, this is a new enemy here in Kism Luke's Grotto. Uh, there's one thing I need to show off in here. Uh, well, I, don't, I guess I don't really need to show it off, but I did get another coupon nut, so I'm going to turn it in for a uh, random prize. But yeah, these guys, uh, they're weak to fire. <clears throat> and I did learn all the uh, spells and shit and abilities with Vivi that I wanted to. Might as well show off the drain spell. Attacks are pretty weak. I cannot eat until it's weaker. Uh oh. Zidane's confused. Don't be confused, buddy. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Shit. Come on! I was gonna say, are you going to eat the thing? You still... Alright, what the fuck, man. Don't use cure on yourself. Bad. Bad Lamia. Bad, bad, bad. Why is everything moving so slow? Hurry up and attack. 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 Do something. <laughs> Yeah, the battle system in this game is slow. That's my only complaint with it. It's slow. I'm trying to eat this girl. Come on, man. Come on, man. Quit. Fuck. How, how do you get to move again? How do you get to attack again like that, huh? Hurry up. Come on, Kina. Taste bad. Apparently Lamias taste bad. Yeah, that was annoying. I was trying to eat it to make sure it didn't have any blue magic. Alright, let's keep moving here. But yeah, we want to go back in here and we want to uh, give our Moogle friend, Moguta, a coupon nut. And we get a random prize. I believe the prizes are High Potion, Phoenix, Pinion, and Tent. Are the random ones you can get. So there you go. Alright, now that we're out of there, our duty is to go back to Bur Burmesia. And uh, what you want to do for this next fight that we're going to be doing, uh, there's a boss battle against uh, Beatrix coming up. And basically what you're going to need is, uh, well, you don't want to put your best equipment on. 
but you definitely want to put on equipment that helps reduce lightning damage for sure not enough to kill it huh oh no maybe so never mind I can steal ore from those guys. Ore is going to be extremely useful uh, later on in the game. Uh, we're going to be trading ores in for uh, other jewels. And the reason why you want to stock up on jewels in this game is uh, for summons. Jewels in this game power up summons. When we, when we get the ability to, you know, do that kind of stuff. So, but that, yeah, that's much, that's much later. But just keep that in mind, uh, that's pretty much what ores are for in this game. They're for uh, trading in for better jewels. Uh, they're also for giving uh, to friendly monsters. They're used for that as well. Um, that's about it really. Anyways, let's... Go back to the same Moogle. Or the Moogle, you know, it's just the Moogle. I don't remember if, the, is there anything in here we can find? Okay, it doesn't look like it. All right, just had to make sure. So for Zidane, I don't care about that really. He can he can s stick with the headgear. Yeah, I probably want the leather wrist because it's got more spirit. You definitely want Zidane's spirit spat, blah, spat, <laughs> stat to be as high as it possibly can at this point. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'll, I think I'm going to buy a few more bronze vests. Can I buy bronze vests from you? Yes, I can. But yeah, I've got a lot more gill, as you can see. Um, yeah, I'll get another one of these. Never know when this extra gear might come in handy for uh, synthesizing. Oh, and by the way, if you're thinking about going back and buying stuff in Lindbloom at this point, uh, yeah, you can't. Uh, basically, Lindbloom is on high alert. I tried that earlier because I, I was thinking about buying a few things, but that's all right. I'll be fine. I'll be able to buy what I need at the uh, Summit Station when I switch back to uh, the Princess and Rusty. So that's not a problem. Um... Alright, so bronze vest, gotta get that spirit up, glass buckle, don't I have a glass buckle? Who's got my glass buckle? Oh wait, never mind, it's right here. I'm fucking blind. Yeah, I should be able to get another one of these later. But yeah, I'm just going to unequip all the accessories. It won't be needed. In fact, 
Yeah, I mean, you could equip a Coral Ring too, because it absorbs Thunder, but nah. Nah, I'm not going to do that either. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I don't need that on you anymore. So, have a Rubber Helm. That'll protect against Lightning. Yeah, you need a silk shirt. Pretty much I want to free up the silk robe and the magician robe for the uh, for the princess. So she can use them. Uh, yeah, because after this fight it's going to automatically switch back. Not, as far as I know, you're not going to have an opportunity to unequip your gear, so... That's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. And this next fight against Beatrix is going to be different than it was in the original game. And yeah, I might as well put Keena in the back row. She doesn't need to be in the front row for this fight. And that should be pretty much it. Yeah, other than the glass... Okay, I want the glass buckle on Zidane because that'll get his spirit up. I want his spirit up as high as it can go. That is very important. We probably won't need a glass buckle with the other party. So let's go ahead and save the game again. Uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly what's happened here, but... Yeah, let's try to talk to her. Let's try to console her. Why not? So let's just leave her alone then. Uh-oh. Hey, not fair. We can't do that. Get up here. Dude, we can't jump that high. You're crazy, woman. Well, maybe Zidane can, but I definitely know that fucking Kina's fat lumbering ass can't. And I'm pretty sure that Vivi can't either. <laughs> I'll meet you after I eat food inside palace. Yeah, all right, Kina. Whatever. Now, normally this battle with Beatrix that's coming up here is a scripted battle that uh, she automatically wins after 10 turns. Not the case anymore.
little backstory on Freya. Although, again, it doesn't really get resolved. I don't know. It's kind of like... I don't know. They, they didn't do a very good job with her uh, character arc in this game. Ah, uh, yes. The most effeminate villain ever. That's alright, though, because I kind of like him. Yeah, all the um, all the dragons of Bermesia have moved to the uh, the sandy treehouse. He's talking about is Clara. Yeah. So basically, Clara is uh, just another tribe of um, Bermesian Dragon Knights, I guess. Uh-oh. Somebody's being a little foolhardy here. So here we go. Now before I start dealing damage to her, I want to steal all her items. As far as I know, her best item that she can get is a mithril you can get from her is a mithril sword. Uh, you can steal a chain plate from her, and then some other item that I don't care about as much. Oh really, you're gonna use shock right from the get-go. Gee, aren't you a cunt? Uh let's go ahead and use Magic hammer, there we go. Let's magic hammer your ass. Stop it! I can't steal from you if you keep using shock on him. But yeah, um, needless to say, have some Phoenix Stones for this fight. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You asshole! Jeez, what is wrong with you? You're making my life difficult right now. I can't steal with him if he's dead. Okay, blind. I, I, I like blind compared to what you've been doing. 
Blind's not gonna bother me that much. But yeah, I just wanna whittle down this, this bitch's MP as much as I can. Oh, look at that, she can put Doom on you. That's kind of cheap. Reflect. Got the chain plate. Physical attack doesn't seem that strong. Come on, man. Sudan. Not enough MP for whatever it is she's trying to do. Well, that's good. That is definitely good. Irritating. I guess it doesn't cost MP to use uh, skills like Thunder Slash, huh? Or Shock. Apparently those are free. Apparently she can just cast those at will. Come on, you dick. Quit hitting him, man. Yeah, I might not even be able to get this fucking item. Let's see what she has. Let's see if she does have this Mithril Sword. Or if it's something else. If it's something else, then stop it. Stop it. That's all you can- that's all you do. Yeah, Mithril Sword. Would be nice to get it.
can't. I don't think I'm ever going to get this Mithril Sword, man. I don't think it's going to happen. There we go, got it. Finally. Alright, so... Now let's start uh, kicking some ass here. Let's go with uh, Dragon Life. To nullify this fucking Doom effect that's going to happen here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this bitch is gonna be uh, immune to all those kinds of effects. So whatever, let's just attack. Yeah, let's go with the drain spell. Uh-oh. Stop using shock! Just stop it! Stop it, you bitch! Man! So, using magic armor on her does pretty much... Yeah, it nullifies her spells, but she can still use, uh, like, other stuff. Guess I'm gonna use Pumpkin Head on her. Yeah, let's go with the little Reese's Wind. Oh, wait, no, not Reese's Wind. Let's go with the little Lancer. There we go. I'm just gonna have Zidane on standby to use Phoenix Downs. That's all he's good for right now. I don't know how much damage we have to deal with her, but hopefully, hopefully not too much more. I guess that's it. Transfer nothing, basically. Ignorant fools!
We will, we will rock you. Oh, wait. Wrong song. That's what it kind of sounded like at first. Certainly doesn't look like your typical bad guy, doesn't he? Yeah, he doesn't look like a bad guy. He almost looks like a good guy. A very effeminate good guy. Why would someone start a war? I don't know, because they're sick fucks. People who eat pickles are nice people. What? What? That short guard is pretty stupid. <laughs> I guess that's why he's on guard duty. Although, maybe guards shouldn't be stupid. I don't know. You, shouldn't you have, like, really smart people on guard duty? Wouldn't that be better? Yeah, yes, he is. He is totally doing that. He's pointing out your naivete. Alright. Alexandria is a kingdom. A realm. Not just a castle. Alright, so anyways. Let's equip some stuff. Like this feather head. And oh yeah, by the way. Uh, rackets in this game are long range weapons that have uh, wind elemental. So if you equip uh, feather hat... On, uh, on Garnet here, uh, she'll actually deal more damage with it. Might as well equip it because she can also learn that ability there. Uh, let's see what else here. Raise a spirit. I believe the spirit stat. Well, actually, you know what? I don't know if the spirit stat affects uh, healing. It might not actually. All right. So yeah, we want the silk robe because we want ability up. And loudmouth. Yep, the scan spell. That's going to be really good. Alright, that's going to be good for her. Alright, now for Rusty. Yes, we get to equip the Mithril Sword. Teaches armor break and mental break. Basically, armor break is uh, an ability that weakens the enemy's defense. Mental break uh, weakens their, um, I believe, their magic defense. Yep. 
I thought... See, that's different, man. I thought the Mithril Sword only taught Armor Break. So maybe it also teaches Mental Break too now? That's cool, man. We'll take it. Uh, Barbets. Alert and clear-headed. Yes, we don't want back attacks. And man-eater, bug killer. What about bird killer? I got Lynn Curace. Already know bird killer, okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, he'll be able to learn alert twice as fast with two pieces of equipment that have it. Which will help, considering that he doesn't have ability up. Alright. So, that should be... Just about it. Yeah, I want body temp for sure. Bright eyes, definitely need that. I think we're gonna need bird killer for the boss. So help us deal more damage to him. Antibody? Nah, well, I'll keep that on for now. But yeah, we are gonna be facing a boss next. So let's take a look around. Yeah, we're gonna be controlling these two for a while. Uh, no. Symbol of friendship, huh? Ah. This is full of rowdy men. What are you talking about, lady? You like w rowdy men, don't you? Bunt kick, huh? Southgate bunt kick. What's up, Rusty? There you go, Nazna. I have a letter. I feel so sad whenever I see Mary, that part-time worker. Have you ever fallen in love? I've never fallen in love before, Kubo. If watching someone else is in love is so difficult, I wonder how difficult it is to actually fall in love myself. Hey, look at that. We get another Kubo nut. Very nice. And this guy wants us to deliver a letter to Mochos. Alright, thank you Mr. Moogle. Okay, we can buy some new equipment here. Uh, you know, I'm gonna buy... A few of these, I'll buy a few of these. Glass armaments already... 
already have quite a few of. Uh, apparently silver gloves are quite valuable, so you want like six of these. Uh, rubber helms, iron helms. Yeah, I need a few more iron helms. And that should just about do it. Yeah, make sure you have at least... I. My guide counts for at least, uh, well, you need at least three or four iron helms, I think, for the uh, legendary synthesis shop or something like that, so, uh, there you go. Yeah, we got some new stuff. Air racket has body temp. Actually, I think I need that. That takes priority, man. Body temp is terrible. And mithril rod teaches some other spells. Good, good. Alright, we're good to go. Actually, this is probably a good spot to end the video. There is going to be a boss coming up, and I do want to make sure I have all the items I need before moving on. So I'll just end the video right here, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next. Bye-bye.